Minasan, Okarina Sai. Today we have an absolute icon, a big reason why I was drawn into D4DJ and then Bang Dream. One of the prettiest girls around with the best of smiles. Aimi Terakawa, born December 25th, 1991, from Kobe in the Hyogo Prefecture. Affiliated with Hibiki. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately. During her high school days, she taught herself how to play the guitar and perform in a band. She initially only aspired to become a singer, but she became interested in voice acting after becoming familiar with the anime series Macross Frontier, where she was impressed at how the series was able to combine music with storytelling. Hoping to become a professional singer, she began participating in various singing contests, such as the Annie Max Annie Song Grand Prix in 2009. She also performed at various live venues, including a steakhouse in Kobe. Aimee fully started her career in 2011, winning an audition to become part of the Tante Opera Milky Homes franchise. She made her voice acting debut with this franchise as the character Kazumi Tokiwa, also voicing Suika Tatsunagi in Cardfight Vanguard. This same year, she made her solo music debut with the release of her first single, Tenshi no Clover. This song was used as the opening theme for the series Latte's Toy. Her second single was also released this year, and it is one of my song recommendations. Live for Life, Okami Tachi no Yoru. Look how young she is here. 20 year old Aimee hits different. So precious. Nowadays, she's like a total babe. But anyway, this was the opening for the show, Bento. Good show in fact, way before I even knew who Aimee was, I was a massive fan of this opening. In 2012, Aimee was a guest at Anime Expo as part of the promotions for the Cardfight Vanguard franchise. She was then cast as the character Julia in the mobile game Idolmaster Million Live. And later in the anime as well, she also performs as this character in live action. And is partnered with Azusa Tarokoro, the two of them being in the subunit d Zeal. She also sang Link, the opening for the ambition of Oda Nobuna. 2013, Aimee would release her first full album, Love, and sang We Are the Stars, the 14th ending to Fairy Tale, another song I was a really big fan of years prior to knowing who she was. This is a really gentle, soothing song. But the next song would be her final solo single for a long time, that being Unmei no Ori, the opening for the series Severing Crime Edge. Aside from music, she voiced Roxanne Elipton in a Freezing Vibration. 2014 is the year with the most roles from her. First, Moa Tori in Recently My Little Sister is Unusual. Then Hikaru Rukururin in Argavolan. Also, Mayura Momochi in Engaged to the Unidentified. Really fun show. Tomoya Mizuhara in Onechan Gakita. And Kiri Hiyoru in Future Card Buddy Fight. In 2015, she became part of the multimedia project Bang Dream, playing the series protagonist Kasumi Toyama. She would perform live as part of the band Pop and Party with her good friend Ayase Ito, being one of the first members to join the band and releasing many, many songs with the group over the years. But this year, she was also Sherry in Plastic Memories, Urika Ledesma in Chaos Dragon, and her second card fight role, Amu Chono in Card Fight Vanguard G, GIRS Crisis. A very long and pointless name. Shout out to Cardfight. 2016, only one role. Yukari Nanahoshi in Luck and Logic. This year was definitely all Bang Dream stuff for her. 2017 and 2018 as all second seasons of Pyre stuff and mostly her just doing Bandori stuff. But in 2019, she joined another multimedia project. This one being called D4DJ. She joined the group Peaky Peaky with fellow Bang Dream member Ryo Karachi voicing their leader, Kyoko Yamate. She had some other new roles too. Milark Kronsten in Sinful Gear X5, or is it 15? Again, I'm gonna assume the Roman numerals and it is 15. I really gotta watch this series though, I've heard a lot of good music from it. Oh, and she was also Kikyo in After Lost. The year of 2020, Aimi started a YouTube channel titled 3 Seiyu Sisters Team Y with fellow talent agency members Mikoi Sasaki and Ayasa. Also, because I know you're wondering, Team Y stands for young, something the younger girls like to tease them about. I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure it was this year. She started her own clothing line called Aimee Original, and I actually really want one of these sweaters. Her anime roles would include D4DJ and Bandori, but she was in this music video preview thing. I still don't really know what it was, but it was called Milgram. It's still an ongoing project, and she voices Kotoko Yozuriha. It'll be linked down below. In February of 2021, Aimee announced that her musical activities would now be signed under King's Record label. She released her new first single, Restarting, with a music video, and she wrote the lyrics for all three tracks on the single. Her other song for this year was Kazanir, the ending theme for how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. And her other other song, which was digital only I guess, was Lights, the opening for the second season of that same show I just mentioned. On to anime, she voiced Carla Vargas, again in that same show. Yuri Amagake in Battle Game in 5 Seconds. Decent show, but shoutouts to that banger opening song sang by Akari Kito. And Nanako Kogure in Remake Our Lives. 
singing the opening with Pop and Party. Almost forgot she had her first solo live in like six years, and this was titled I Mean It. I like the beginning of her name. Very clever. 2022, her second album, first new album, titled I Me Sound. That phrase is very important to her, being her Twitter handle for as long as I can remember. And it's her live tour title for this year, which she'll be having one show in October, one show in November, and two in December. That second one being on her birthday, which I'm noticing is a very common occurrence in the seiyuu industry. They usually perform or release something on their birthdays. As for anime, Yomogi Takahashi in Tepen, co-starring with the rest of Team Y, and then two smaller roles. Sophie Antagonista in a Smile of the Ars Notoria, the animation. There is no way that is the character's actual name, and if they are not the antagonist, then there is a huge missed opportunity. Oh, then again, that might just be the joke within the show. I don't know, maybe I should watch it. The final role may also be minor, but it's pretty cool. She was Jennifer in Yujigasaki's second season. And the last thing for this year is that she took a two-month hiatus to recover from a non-disclosed chronic disease that she has had for a while. This was from March until May, I believe, and she has since resumed her activities. 2023, she actually just got a new role announced on the day I'm writing this script. The character named Blue in Maho Shoujo Magical Destroyers. Video game roles would include mostly mobile as usual, but these games I've actually heard of. Those being Pokemon Masters, Konosuba, and Heaven Burns Red. But also Girls is Frontline, Cookie Run Kingdom, and Alchemy Stars. And she's in Disgaea 5 for PS4. Oh, and of course, the D4DJ, Bandori, and Idolmaster phone games. And once again, she was very recently announced for the new Honkai game. Concerts would include the standard Every Bandori Live that Poppy Poe is featured in, all the D4DJ festivals and Piki's duet lives, most, if not all of the Million Stars concerts. I can't fully confirm this since I haven't seen them all. But also, any Max Musics and many other festivals over the years, mostly with Pop and Party. Then at Annie Sama with all three of her groups at least once since around 2017, being a solo act there for the first time this year. And the last thing to mention is that she has sang a lot at Hibiki events. Moving on to those fun facts, Aimee is 158 centimeters or 5 foot 2, has herself a Twitter, like I mentioned before, also a staff Twitter, an Instagram, and a YouTube channel. Her hobbies are studying languages and collecting figures, while her special skills include playing the saxophone and crane games. And she has expressed an interest in performing English songs overseas. You can find many videos of her online practicing her English. I actually have so many facts about her since there are so many translated interviews, but I'll just mention a few here, and then I'll have a video with like 50 fun facts about her or something like that in the future. But for now, Aimee prefers to simply be called Aimee or Aimeen as a name and a nickname. In Japanese culture, you usually refer to someone by their last name, but Aimee just wants to be Aimee. Her favorite manga is Glass Mask, but she grew up loving Death Note and Naruto, while her favorite game franchise is the Harvest Moon series. To relieve stress, Aimee plays video games, reads manga, and watches anime. Hey, she's just like us. Her favorite onigiri fillings are tuna and mayonnaise. She prefers to cook her own food rather than to take out. This is because it keeps her skin pretty and she has a weakness to anything sour flavor. She owns a pet snake named Annie, and she likes reptiles in general. Her favorite color is gold, and she has a driver's license. She is a cat person rather than a dog person, a trait she shares with her main harem member Amita. Aimee is a fan of the MCU, with her favorite character being Tony Stark. She is also a fan of the J-Rock band Bump of Chicken. At some point, she picked up the hobby of fortune telling and has studied the tarot deck very well. It's pretty cool. I wonder if she's seen JoJo or played Persona. Honestly, she probably has, and that's what inspired her to get into the tarot deck to begin with. She says her charm point is her smile, and I don't think anyone will disagree with that. She has both an older brother and a younger sister, the younger sister actually being Chiharu Hokase, formerly of the group Nanobun no Nijuni. Aimee and her little sister used to not get along very well, and it wasn't until Aimee reached high school that they finally started to act more like sisters rather than enemies. Maybe I made it seem a little more hostile than it was, but Aimee describes it more as them just doing their own thing and completely ignoring each other. Miss Aimee is apparently a natural when it comes to computer tech. She doesn't exactly know what she's doing on her own, but when given instructions, she will excel where others will struggle. She says her favorite thing in the world is white rice, and her most hated thing is a swimsuit. When asked which Banjoi song apart from her own that she liked, she replied with Raise the Sealant's Unstoppable, mostly because of Rachel's voice. She has said that like her character Kyoko, she has been told that she can be very unapproachable at times. But this is actually not the case, and she is in fact very happy to meet or speak with anyone. When she first started performing, the gap between what she wanted her singing ability to be and what it currently was was so big that it stressed her out. To practice, she would sing in her characters' voices to get a better understanding of both herself as a singer and her characters. 
Aimee admired the vocalist of Silent Siren when she first started her career, hoping one day to meet her and become friends. And while well, if you don't already know, her band Poppin' Party and Silent Siren had a collab music video and two whole concerts together. These last couple facts I didn't know where to put, so they're just here at the end. Apparently, it was her idea to name Hibiki's YouTube channel Hibiki Style. And finally, Aimee says that she didn't do anything for fun at all as a kid, so much to the point where she doesn't have any memories from back then other than being at home. Even if she were to go outside to play, there wasn't really anything around, and she also claims to have been really shy, so her friends didn't invite her to hang out often. Really relatable. Good thing video games exist. Anyway, kind of a downer to end on, sorry about that, but I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new about this future Hall of Famer. Thank you so much for watching, please join me in the next one.